Looking stylish when it's hot outside isn't always easy, but there are a few things that you can switch up to not only make you look, but feel so much cooler. Hi, I'm Leonie and welcome to my channel. Now, we all know the basics when it comes to summer dressing and we know not to wear clothing that's too tight and we maybe wear more dresses than we normally do in other times of the year. But there are a few things that are definitely worth thinking about that can just get you in the right mindset for tackling those warmer months. And these are things that are very relevant to what's in fashion now and what will potentially work for you. So today, I really just want to get you thinking differently about the clothes you already own and also just thinking differently about how you approach summer fashion. One of the things that's really easy to do when the weather heats up is to ignore color and pattern. And the reason I bring this up is because one of the biggest trends for spring summer is patterned colorful suits. Now don't get scared thinking kind of corporate suiting. What I am talking about is things like short suits, skirt suits. I've seen some beautiful short suits with matching floaty shorts. There are some gorgeous options out there. Now, the reason that I think that these are worth taking a second look at is because not only do you get that one and done option with them, so you've got a suit that you can wear together. It's an instant outfit. You don't have to think about it, but you can also mix and match these pieces as separates and team them with pieces that you already own. So there's that versatility that comes with a suit. And because they are often in bright colors and beautiful pattern fabric, it's really easy if you do wear the suit and team them together. So one of my top tips is to just think about incorporating some color and some pattern into your spring summer outfits. And it doesn't have to be floral if that's not what you are about. I know we often always think about florals when we think about spring, especially, and it doesn't have to be floral. There are some beautiful modern pieces and suiting options that are available. So definitely give that idea a go. The one and done of a suit is just super versatile. And that leads in really nicely to my next point, which is to wear the shorts. One of the biggest mistakes I see and hear women saying is that they're not going to wear shorts in summer because they're not prepared to expose their legs. They don't like the look of their legs, so they're not going to inflict that on anyone else. Well, I'm here to say I think you should most definitely wear the shorts. Summer is hot. Spring is warming up. It's time to get your legs out. Be loud and proud and get your legs out. Wear the shorts. I am so tired of hearing women being so self-deprecating about their looks and their bodies and let's be comfortable and it's so interesting that once you actually start wearing the shorts they become far more comfortable as well i recently had a comment from a lovely viewer on my channel here saying that in last summer i had encouraged wearing the shorts and she did that and it's been a game changer for her so one of the style mistakes that we often make is not doing something and not choosing a comfortable option for all the wrong reasons. Give yourself a break, expose your arms, wear the shorts, be comfortable and embrace what you truly want to wear. Don't worry about the opinion of others. It truly does not matter. Now at this point, I'd just like to say a very big thank you to the team at Peak for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. Now I have been enjoying these two Peak products for the last six weeks, I'd say, and both are designed to give you radiant skin and health. Two things that I am all about at the moment. I've just recently turned 56 and I have noticed that my skin was definitely losing elasticity. It was feeling really dry. And I first incorporated the matcha into my routine. And I quite quickly noticed a kind of calmness that this tea actually gives me, which I particularly loved. Then I introduced the BT fountain and that has actually done wonders for my skin. So the two of them now are my new favorites. I love the taste of matcha. I've been on the hunt for a really good matcha tea. This is it. It's world-class. It's ceremonial grade because if you know anything about matcha, they are not all created equal. So this is a top-notch matcha. It tastes amazing. It gives you this real calmness and zen-like feeling. So this has been great for me to swap out some of the coffees that I drink in a day and exchange a beautiful, tasty, creamy matcha instead. Sun Goddess Matcha is the purest matcha. It's ceremonial grade and it comes highly recommended. The benefits include improved digestion, long-lasting energy, clearer skin, 
And it actually also boosts your metabolism and reduces those sugar cravings, which is especially good for me because I have got such a sweet tooth. The BT Fountain includes some clinically proven ceramides. And these little ceramides actually support your skin's elasticity, which is exactly what my skin needs. And they provide really deep hydration deeper than what your skincare can do. The BT fountain is making it so much easier for me to drink more water too. And that's something that I've always struggled with. It's also sugar-free, it tastes great, and it just gives me an easy hydration boost. So the team at Peak are offering you a 15% discount off this Radiant Skin Duo. All you need to do is whip on over to peaklife.com forward slash the style insider to take advantage of that 15% off. You will also receive free shipping for life. Yes, free shipping for life from the Peak team. And everyone that takes advantage of this offer gets a very cool starter kit, which includes this frother and a beaker. So it's a really good opportunity to try these skin loving and health giving products that. I really swear by, but I'll leave a link in the description box below and a little bit more information so that you can take advantage of this offer. That starter kit is super fun too. A classic style mistake that I see time and time again is fake tan faux pas. Now, I know that it is not always easy to pull off the perfect fake tan. And sometimes I do get it wrong myself. And generally it's because I haven't exfoliated my previous fake tan or I've just applied it too quickly. But there are some good options out there just to make the whole process so much easier. There are also some really great fake tans now that are less permanent. So essentially you apply them, they look amazing and they'll wash off in your next shower. And I tend to find that these are the easiest fake tans to get right. You can see where it's applied. You can make sure that it's even before you even walk out the door. And then obviously you can start afresh after you've had a shower. And yes, this is a little bit more time consuming, but it does mean that your fake tan will look more natural. So be very careful in summer when you want to perhaps be your legs. And if you want to put a little bit of color on and tan them up, just be a little bit careful because fake tan gone wrong can just look really bad. Now this season, I keep seeing so many leather and leather look mini skirts that are trending this year and while they look cool they are the ultimate in a fabric that will not breathe so if you tend to really struggle with the warmer months and feel the heat then steer clear of some of these options as i said they look good but they're just not practical any fabric that doesn't breathe is just going to make you miserable. So any of these pleather, leather or leather look kind of smaller skirts or even pants that I've seen being shown as spring summer options, just be really careful because they don't breathe. You are going to sweat and it's just not a good feeling. But there are other ways around it. So think about some other products that are a little bit more foolproof. Another top tip is to ditch your denim when the weather gets warmer. Denim is just heavy and it's hot. And there are so many other cooler, lightweight options like cotton, linen, cargo pants are trending big time at the moment. So there are some great lightweight cargo options as well. So when it comes to the warmer weather, you really do need to park your denim jeans for a while. One of the biggest style mistakes that I often see in the warmer months is the wrong bra. In my opinion, there's nothing worse than seeing bra straps or a colorful bra where you kind of not wanting to see a colorful bra. So really pay attention to your bra, make sure that it's well fitting. There are lots of sheer fabrics that are on offer this spring summer and if you are going to opt for that style then definitely think about your underwear and most importantly the bra that you're wearing as well a well-fitting bra is also going to just be far more comfortable especially if you do tend to overheat in the summer so think about those undergarments because as you already know they are the foundation pieces for an outfit and they need to fit well you don't want to see any bulging you don't want to see any extra bra straps so make sure you've got the right bra another spring summer style mistake that we often generally tend to make is still wearing our black or our classic black autumn winter handbag and wearing that through into the warmer months there are so many other options that just tend to lighten up an outfit. And I know it's tempting to just continue wearing the same personal handbag that we've always been wearing, but certainly lightening it up can give your outfits just a more fresh, summery look and feel. 
This season is all about metallics and metallic accessories and I have seen some absolutely beautiful metallic purses and handbags and these in my opinion are super versatile because you don't have to match them with your outfit. They will go with absolutely everything you wear. So think about switching out your classic everyday black handbag with something that's a little bit more modern, a little bit more versatile and a little bit more appropriate for the warmer months. One of the biggest style mistakes that I see in the warmer months is forgetting our proportions and I'll often see for instance a tight fitting tank with a tight denim mini skirt for instance and yes that's going to keep you cool but there are some better options to choose from so things like just balancing your proportions, wear that tight fitting tank maybe opt for some floaty shorts or a floatier skirt it's amazing if you think about and focus on those proportions making sure that you're not all wearing tight or not all super baggy just to give yourself a little bit of balance when an outfit is balanced it is far more appealing it looks seamless it just looks better so think about some of your proportions and i know summer dressing and the warmer months make it harder to dress because you generally just want to stay cool but proportions do come into it and it's not going to make you feel any less cool but it can just create a more seamless outfit another thing that we don't often think about when it comes to spring summer dressing is footwear and it's so easy to make the mistake of wearing and opting for the wrong footwear. But this spring summer, there are some gorgeous trends on offer. Ballet flats are happening. There are some beautiful, delicate, dainty sandals that are on offer. I've also seen some interesting fisherman style caged sandals if you still like that sort of chunkier look of footwear so there are options out there so for instance in spring you were possibly wearing your favorite sneakers with skirts and pants and what you will need to do is look at swapping them out for a sandal that's perhaps a little bit more delicate, a little bit more lightweight, that lets some air in, a little bit more breathability. I know it's tempting to keep wearing those sneakers and trainers all year round, but definitely give your feet a bit of a break and think about swapping out some of those basics for a really good summer footwear option. When the weather gets hot, it's all too easy to forget some of those finishing touches to an outfit, like wearing a baseball cap a belt adding a belt to your trousers wearing some interesting earrings layering up some necklaces i tend to think that when it is hot outside we just forget that extra piece of the puzzle which is accessorizing and as we all know it's those extra details that really do take an outfit from zero to hero so even if it's hot outside don't forget those accessories just to give your outfits that extra little bit of oomph so now you know how easy it is to look really cool even when it's hot outside. What I do suggest you do now is click or tap on the screen here to see what outfits are absolutely out of style. But don't worry, I will be sharing with you what to wear instead. So click or tap on the screen here before I can't talk anymore and also to see what those outfits are.